Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our weekly security updates that have finally arrived in Microsoft Edge overnight in my region. And to double check your browsers up to date, because we are dealing with um, security issues, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. Now, something I must just point out before we have a look at the version and build upgrade is that I haven't received the update yet. But I'm just I'm putting it out there just to make you guys aware if you are using Edge. Because Microsoft does say that updates will roll out progressively over one or more days. And this is the first time ever um, on this channel that I actually haven't received an Edge update or a point release update when it has initially rolled out. So just bringing this to your attention and just giving you a bit of a update on this in case you are using Edge. Now, first of all, um, the browser version and build has been bumped up to 130.0.2849.68. I'm still on 0.56 because, as mentioned, haven't received the update yet. But that point release should be 0.68. And first of all, um, Microsoft say they have fixed various bugs and performance issues, which is common. Almost on a weekly basis, bugs and performance issues are fixed and resolved and addressed, which I think is a good thing. And then they say they've also improved the reliability where they fixed a renderer crash that occurred when using some sites with web contents accessibility enabled. So any crash that's addressed is an important fix. And then regarding the security updates that have rolled out, we get no edge specific updates, but we get the two security fixes that rolled out for the open source Chromium project earlier this week, which the browser is based on, which first appeared in um, Google Chrome. And the two security fixes that rolled out are addressing one critical flaw and one high severity flaw. So this is an important security update. And critical is your highest ranked vulnerability. And it's listed as out of bounds right in dawn. And the high severity vulnerability that's been patched is used after free in WebRTC. And thankfully, as mentioned, there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild for this week. But kind of a little bit going on with this update, a three-sided update for want of a better word. Bugs have been squashed, they've improved the reliability, and we've got some security fixes that have rolled out. And um, obviously, as mentioned, I haven't received the update yet because these updates can roll out progressively over one or more days according to Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.